So today we got an amarganser, which is a type of aquatic bird. And unfortunately, because they're aquatic birds and they're by a lot of rivers and creeks, we found a fishing hook that was actually caught in its chest and one in its foot in the webbing between its toes. When he came in, he was in a frantic, stressful state, which is how a lot of our animals come in. They don't understand that we are here to help them and we are perceived as predators to them. So it's, it's just a very scary situation for them and it's hard on us too because we can't really tell them what we're doing. You just feel, you feel guilty that the animal is in this situation. He was unable to like extend and posture properly because of like the tension. And so you just overall just feel really sad that he's in the situation. Well, I went through that one. Yeah, I ripped that one. With careful precision, Jess and fellow wildlife rehabilitator Carly removed the hook from his foot. As for the one in his chest, Dr. Mickey came in to help. It was actually embedded in its chest, so we had to cut one of the tips that was barbed and then gently removed it, flushed it to make sure it's clean, as well as checking the webbing in its toes. Um, so he'll stay with us for a few days, we'll treat with antibiotics, and hopefully she'll be really soon. But I feel good that I work in this place where I am able to help him, and we have a team of people who care so much, and this is the type of work we do, and he gets a second chance. People who fish for hobby purposes, if they can dispose of their fishing line responsibly. I think if you are choosing to practice that hobby, then you have to be mindful of all the things that are within like your responsibility to clean up after yourself. As this bird continued his recovery, another merganser was brought in. He likely suffered a crash landing, leaving his feet badly torn. The wounds to his webbing were quite severe, so he was rushed to surgery. Uh, so we're setting up to do a surgery on the swimmer dancer that just came in. Main issue for him is that he's got a big laceration to his one of his toe webbings, which is pretty important for a diving duck. The toes themselves look pretty healthy, but being able to preserve as much webbing as possible can make it the easiest for him to survive. So I'm going to try to do some surgery to repair it, but it's pretty difficult because it's two very small layers of skin that have to be closed independently of each other. So we're gonna squint and do our best. The procedure was a success, with both feet delicately stitched closed and cleaned. Soon this merganser was swimming and well on the mend. He'll remain at TWC until fully healed and ready for release. As for the merganser who had been freed from the fishing line, the veterinary team did multiple checks to ensure the wounds improved. They were happy to say this bird was ready to return to the wild. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell to be notified when we share new content. We would also love if you shared this video with a friend.